What's up YouTube? So, this is what I purchased on a uh, flea market for seven dollars. It's a Zenith radio. Um, it's, uh, it's Bakelite. The case is in pretty good condition. Uh, it's, it's really dirty. So I got it for seven bucks. Uh, I have not tested it yet. I wanted to test it uh, to see if it works. Uh, I would say 80% of the time it doesn't work, but uh, you never know. So I'm gonna try to test it out, turn it on to see if it's, it's functional, if it's working. Like I say, 80% of the time these radios do not work. Um, but for seven dollars, uh, you can still uh, make some money on it. So I hear Does it So there's a hum on it. So uh, usually, usually when you hear a hum, it's one of the resistors uh, or something like that. But uh, it, it is isn't. It's in pretty good shape. It's functional. You could fix it. Uh, sometimes I, even if I clean it inside, uh, it happens to to some way or another gets to work. Gets working. So for now, I'm just going to clean it up. I'm going to show you how uh, I get this thing nice and polished and looking brand new. Uh, so you see, this thing is it's filthy. I got it just like this. Um, I'm going to open up the back to see what um, how, it's, how it looks. Hopefully, there's no rust or anything to it. But. Um, We'll see. This thing has like a two little, you have to pull it. On the bottom, it's like a little, uh, there you go. So let's see, just connect this little thing here which is some part of the antenna. All right, so, so far, looks, doesn't look that bad. Looks pretty clean, you know, it's, it's dusty. It's dusty, but uh, it's doable. This is a model, uh, you can probably see here, it's an H725 model. Uh, it's really dusty. It needs a little, little cleaning. Um, so I'm gonna try to do that, just to just to look uh, presentable. You know, even if it's not working, you, you want it to look uh, like uh, you can fix it. So you have to be, you know, you have to be, uh, you have to be clean about it. So what I usually do is I take and uh, I, I dust it out with some air and I take it from there. So let me do that and get this cleaned up. It's, it's going to get a little dusty in here. Okay, so it's dust free. Uh, it's a little dusty in here. Probably can't see that, but um, you should wear some type of uh, some type of mask or something, you know, so you don't breathe this stuff in. So what I usually do is just to just to make it look even better, I take the uh,
take the fuses out and just just wipe it down. Doesn't take doesn't take much. You know, just wipe it down a little bit. You know, just uh, you know, it looks looks way better. Nice and clean. You go, you put it back. And you do this to all the ones you see there. So let me do this and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so all the tubes are clean. It just it looks just way better when you take pictures. Uh now we have to take pictures and post it on eBay. If they see it, to be honest with you, that that cleaning the bulbs makes a big difference a big difference they they just won't I don't know for some reason they, they think it's it's a, it's a better quality radio but it is what it is so I suggest you clean it so now after you clean that you know put this back together screw it back yeah you're gonna have to unscrew it and take pictures but for now, just you know, just so nothing will break or anything or get loose or whatever the case may be. So you screw it back. I wear one glove just because I usually do everything with this hand. So you know, you you have to wear some type of protection. Or something. I don't know. This thing is over 50, 60 years old. You gotta make sure you know get cut or get it something. You know, get dust on it, whatever. All right, so there's two things I use to clean the uh, Baker light, which is which is this here. See how nasty and dusty and all this thing is just it just looks horrible. You would never ever sell this on eBay, looking like this. So I use two things: steel wool, four zero. Fine or three zero fine. Four zero three fill. This is the thing right here. This is the magic trick. And then to restore it, after you you sand it with the Brillo, you take all the gook and all the nasty stuff out, you use this stuff here. This is incredible. This stuff here is magic. So I'm gonna get started with the steel wool and just clean this whole case up and then um, show you how I make it uh, come alive again. Okay, so, if you have arthritis, this is not the thing to do with your hands. Trust me, this is not the thing. But anyway, this is good. Uh, it's nice and dusty now. So, I like taking this, take a cloth and just, you know, just um, get, the, uh, get the dust, get the dust off. Get all this. These corners, they, they, you know, you gotta take a, take something because they scrape this thing off. You can scrape it off, but uh, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look really good. up now this is the magic right here trust me when I tell you this is the magic I'm not promoting this at all this is what I use I think it's the best thing but anyway open it up uh, 
and um, so you gotta. That's mirror shine. It's just I'm telling you, this thing is incredible. Yeah, whoever buys is gonna it's gonna be for uh, display purpose or or get it re restored 100%. This is not even 50% uh, restored. This is just uh, to make it look nice, make it look pretty. Okay, so we're done with the polishing and all that, and, and put the the back cover back on. Now it's to see if it if it works. Uh, chances are it might work, it might not work. In the beginning of the video, it wasn't working, it had a hum. But sometimes when you clean the radios, um, it just it, it, it just works. So let me just plug it up. Let's see. These two radios, you gotta let it get let it get warm, get it to work. Current cancers, small or large, most anywhere in the body, even if prior chemo, radiation, or surgery didn't work. Amazing, see? You never know. Once you fix it, you clean it up, you little dust, and this thing, uh, it works now. Now, now, the price has doubled. Now you have a working functional radio that looks great it could be a display piece or it can be used and used so it's a win-win amazing a little bit of elbow grease a little bit of cleaning and now you had quadruple your investment. So now from 50 to 60 bucks, I might get $100 for this. Maybe 120, 120 bucks or something like that. Even, even if you get 90 bucks, come on. You spend $7. Like I said, watch my next video, how I'm going to put this on eBay. Um, and see what I get for it being in the condition that it is in now. Amazing. Beautiful. Thought about making money. Money, 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 money.